Hi everyone, this is Meryl Jagannath and welcome to my SLP presentation on spatial climate change vulnerability assessment in Ghana, Kenya and Malawi. So the aim of this project is to explore spatial vulnerability to climate change risk through the use of vulnerability and exposure indices to identify where and how populations are most at risk and also identify the spatial distribution and patterns of vulnerability. So this is based on the IPCC risk framework and this SLP is particularly focused on vulnerability and the sensitivity and adaptive capacity components that make up vulnerability and also the variables which we will quantify in the vulnerability index. So this is based on statistical analysis of um, data from census, integrated household surveys and environmental and land use change factors at the enumerator area scale using statistical analysis such as principal component analysis and spatial statistics such as cluster analysis to identify significant areas of vulnerability. So moving on to some of the results, so this is from Malawi, first showing the histogram of adaptive capacity, for example, showing a near normal distribution. And then we have six principal components explaining 71% of um, the variance in vulnerability relating to livelihoods, energy and water, communication, housing and land, illness and shocks and finance and social networks. So the negative sign means that these variables increase, um, de decrease vulnerability and the positive sign means that these variables increase vulnerability. Then we have the first map showing the spatial distribution of vulnerability across Malawi with red meaning that these areas have very low um, adaptive capacity, for example. And then the second map is just showing the statistical, the spatial statistical analysis, which is cluster analysis, kind of aggregating the enumerator areas together, showing hotspots. With, uh, sorry, with red meaning that these areas have, have very low adaptive capacity and thus are, more, are most at risk. And blue meaning areas have higher adaptive capacity, so at least have lesser risk. So it must be important to note that these ratings and rankings of um, adaptive capacity and vulnerability are all relative. So conclusion and next steps. So we will hope, so we will further this analysis to include Kenya and Ghana using the same framework and the same components and variables and also hope to include future climate and development trajectories and both scenarios based on these profiles and to include some future climate data. Thank you.